Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. We, of course, know this track. It's from Flashdance. It's Irene Cara. She just passed away relatively recently. It was sad. But uh, I've never heard her perform it live. I obviously am well aware of the track. I actually worked for the Giorgio Moroder camp. I'll get into that a little more when we do Tommy Johansson's version, which is why I'm picking this track. He just covered it. I'm a big fan of the guy. If you don't know who he is, he does great stuff. I encourage you to hang on there with us and listen to his version next. But let's hear the original. This is from 1983, and it's the MDA Telethon with Irene Cara performing it. Let's give it a go. But a slow glowing dream that your fear seems to hide deep inside your mind. All alone, I have cried silent tears full of pride in a world. Made of stone. 
Where were those guys during the Olympics, man? <laughs> this is timely, you see. It's that ray gun lady from Australia is my reference. But uh, these guys were pretty good breakdancers, man. It's pretty good stuff. And I was looking a little intently because I'm not sure if she was really singing this live. Um, I'm not sure. But it was a great track. It was a great track. It's good to hear it again. Of course, I'm interested to see what Tommy did with it. But it also brings it's just such a youthful sound, you know, this song. You know, makes it, And she looks so young here, too. I want to kind of look it up see how old she was. But uh, anyway, I don't know. It's a great track. Grew up with it. Let's jump into Tommy's version. Let's see what he did with it. I'll see you guys on that one. Thank you. This is Mr. Tommy O'Hansen. He's doing flash dance. What a feeling, it says here by Irene Kara. Get into a little bit more. I say, and if you guys watch my podcast a lot or you did read my book, I worked for Billy Idol. I didn't really totally work for Billy Idol. Billy Idol was recording in the recording studio that I worked at, and uh, it was really cool to see him and get he was one of the very first like big celebrities i really ever hung out with that i cared at all about i was totally thought billy idol was so good hope you do too <laughs> anyway billy idol's producer is a guy named keith forsey keith forsey wrote the lyrics to this track giorgio moroder wrote the music all these guys in the recording studio all came from Giorgio Moroder's camp, and so I met Giorgio quite a few times coming through. We basically did all this stuff in the studio for him. Anyhow, what I'm getting at was kind of fun is Keith once told me how he wrote this track with Irene Kara. So basically, they got picked up in a limousine, and there's one like little sequence in the film that is what he tried to focus on in writing the track. And he said that he just wrote the words as quick as he could, basically, just trying to write it in a limo to get there. Because he didn't really care, just kind of get through it. And I don't know, I think he might have mentioned he was trying to hook up with her, but hey, you know. <laughs> hey, it's Irene Karish, very cool, very cool. Anyway, there's my little story. Let's see what Tommy O'Hanson did with this track. I hope it's fun, it should be fun. He's fun. It is a cool track, come on, it reminds you of your childhood. Let's do this! <laughs>
there you have it. <laughs> I actually didn't watch the uh, official music video, so I'm not sure of the reference, but I kind of remember it now that he talks about it. She's in the chair, right? That's the famous scene. She's dancing in the chair, and the rain comes down. So, all right, we got the visual. Thank you, Tommy, dude. So we need a Tommy in the chair doing the, the whole thing. That's how, that's how Tommy dances. I'm a much better dancer. <laughs> so a little bit of background. Keith Forsey, the lyricist, we went over this, right? He also wrote Hot Stuff, Donna Summer, right? Hot Stuff. He also wrote the track Don't You Forget About Me. Uh, the Heat Is On. So this guy was really a pretty good writer, right? And you can hear the influences if you focus on the lyrics because Sam Guy is interesting. Giorgio Moroder, American Gigolo, to the never-ending story, to uh, he worked on Top Gun. Uh, a lot of really great stuff. So anyhow, our version here uh, compared to Irene Cara is different. I think the biggest difference is male versus female. I felt that Tommy really respected the original here, but gave it a little bit of his own uh, je ne sais quoi, right? Should we call it here? Give it a little bit of oomph. I liked in the beginning where he added that at the real sound that I'd never noticed in the original. I think that's a Tommy portion, which I thought really complimented it. I thought it was really great. I love the guitar solo. Just you know, put it in there, man. We're going to figure this out. That was good. And I, I, what I really like is that the track has legs. You know, it's got longevity. It's a fun song. I said in Irene Kara's version I just did. It reminds me of your youth. You know, it's a really fun song. It's got a lot to it. So anyhow, I liked it. Always like Tommy's stuff. It's great. Hope you liked it too. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.